on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh! And the earrings. Achievement free? Free achievement? Hello, fellow sharks, and welcome back. This is Sniz, and the Destiny update has dropped. What you have just watched was my first Sea Gloom Clear post patch, and you can tell by the timer it's ridiculously fast compared to what it was before, not to mention ridiculously smooth in playstyle. This is another What's New with Thunderbreaker, and boy is there a lot of content to go over because there is a lot new with Thunderbreaker. So we'll break it down and go over everything in thoroughly. What better way to start than by going over the basics of the patch? The Mihail Link skill is no longer necessary on Thunderbreaker, as every class has received 100% knockback resistance through skills. The patch notes fail to state which skills grant Thunderbreaker stance, but I'm here to tell you in 3rd job you gain 40% stance, and in 4th job you gain the last 60% stance left over. Uh, because of this change, you will no longer need the Mihail Link as stated previously, and you can easily replace it with another damage or utility link. The final general change that applies to Thunderbreaker is Urda Nova, the 5th job bind skill. At level 25, its cooldown is 120 seconds, which lines up perfectly with Thunderbreaker's burst rotation. There is no reason to boost it past level 25, as you will always be binding on that 120 second cooldown to line up with the rest of your burst. Now for one of the more critical changes to Thunderbreaker's kit, the linking system. It has been redone so that instead of when the key is released, uh, to link a skill. The skill is now linked when the key is pressed down. It's a subtle change, but it results in dramatic changes in your playstyle due to how the rest of the skills now work, such as Tidal Crash, which we'll shortly get into now. Now, the portion that probably all been waiting for. Thunderbreaker has received an average decrease of 20% skill cast animations across the board. This is absolutely massive considering how slow we were before. We have a range of 7% decrease to a whopping 41% decrease on Tidal Crash. In addition, Tidal Crash has also become an animation cancel that does damage that I didn't think was going to make it into the game. But it did, so I'm more than happy with it. Alongside that, Lightning Cascade was also buffed. It now grants 24% final damage at level 25, and I believe at level 30 it grants 27% final damage. Kind of an odd number, but I'll take it, considering it was only 10% final damage prior to this, so the skill is over twice as effective than it was before. With all these changes, you can probably tell I'm left almost speechless. By looking at the duration of this video, you can already tell that it's pretty cut to the point. There's not much to go over, other than the fact that we're up good, we're a big winner, and holy hell, did I never think I did I ever think I was gonna see the day where we are this strong? I'm glad I made it to this point where I got to see Thunderbreaker in such a good position. It's still lackluster in certain aspects of its kit, as such as party support and burst, but with the ignition update coming to Korea soon, we can also hope that some things get addressed, such as our mainly our burst. I have low hopes for our party support being tweaked anytime soon, but a man can hope as well. With all this said and done, I'll see you sharks later. Bye-bye.